This is journal page 140, section 6.7, simple interest, number one. Actually, before we do this, remember that the simple interest formula is interest equals principal times rate times time. So for number one, they give us a, we're looking for the interest. So one A, how much interest? Well, we're looking for the interest. They give us the principal of 400. Um, the rate is 7%, which is 0 0.07. And the time is three years. So we multiply. 0 0.07 times three would be 0 0.21. So I have 400 times 0 0.21. And 400 times 0.21 would be 84. So that's $84 interest. Part B says find the balance on the account. So now for part, oops, part B, I'll put it on the inside here. 400 is how much I put in. They added $84 in interest. So now I'm at $484. Number two. They give us, uh, or we put in $1,200. The interest rate here is going to be 0 0.056 because I moved the decimal two places. Ding, ding, don't forget, 0 0.056 for four years. So I multiply 0 0.056 by 4, which will be 0.224. And then I multiply 1,200 by 0.224, and the interest I would receive would be $268. And 80 cents. That's the interest. So that's part A. Part B, I take my $1,200 that I put in. I add on the $268.80 interest. And it gives me a new balance of $1,468.80. And 80 cents. Down here, I'm finding the interest rate. So they give me the interest, $18. Remember, I'm plugging it into here. So the interest equals principal times rate times time. The principal is 200. The rate's what I'm looking for, so I'll just put in an R for that. And the time is 18 months. Well, this is an annual interest rate. So how many years is that? 18 months is 1.5 years. So I have to use 1.5 for the time. So now I have 18 equals, well, 200 times 1.5 is 300 times R. Divide both sides by 300. And R equals for number three, 0.06, which is the same as 6%. Number four, give me the interest of $310, which equals 1,000, which is the principal, times the rate, times the time, five in this case. Oops. Well, five times 1,000 is 5,000 R over here, 310. Divide both sides by 5,000. And R equals, in this case, 0.062. Moving the decimal two places would equal 6.2%. Number five. Now we're looking for the amount of time. So they give us the interest. 60 equals 750 times the rate, which is 0 0.04, because 4% turned into a decimal, times the time. 60 equals, well, 0 0.04 times 750, 1,500, 3,000, it'd be 30. No. Interest equals 
30 T divide by 30 and T equals 2. Yeah, that's right, 2 years. Very good. Number 6, 825 equals 2,500 times 0 0.055 times the time. And obviously, 2,500 times 0 0.055 would equal 137.5. I did not just use a calculator in case that's what you were thinking. Divide both sides by 137.5. And T equals 6. So 6 years. Finally, number 7. You put 500 into a savings account. The account earns $15.75 simple interest in six months. What's the annual interest rate? So here's the interest, 15.75. The principal, $500. We don't know the rate, so that's what we're looking for. And the time, six months, would be 0.5 for years. Well, $15.75 equals... 0.5 times 500 is 250R. Divide both sides by 250. And R equals 0 0.063, which equals, in the decimal two places, 6.3%. Awesome. And if you followed along and did all the work and show the right answer, good for you, you'll understand this. If you're just going to the end of the video and trying to just write down the answers, well then this page isn't gonna make much sense to you. But I'll point to it here and point to it there so it looks like I'm working on it, maybe even move my pen around a little bit. And that way, if you went skipped right to the end of the video and you're looking here to try to find your answers, you are gonna be pretty lost. So hopefully we're following along. If you have any questions, please ask in class. See ya!